we just started trying to get as much up as we could, but we just couldn't. And I had the three-year-old with me, and when we finally got outside, she couldn't walk, so we put her in a recycle bin because I knew it would float. So this out here, this is all of our bedrooms, beds, dressers, tubs, freezers, refrigerators, clothes, shoes. We lost everything in our home. I'm supposed to be getting married October the 21st. So I lost a lot of my wedding stuff and that's kind of tearing me inside, inside. But I would mostly say that I'm grateful at this point for our lives. She just knew it wasn't normal. Yeah, she went through this. She got to swim for the first time in her life. You know, my mother's 78, my, my boy's 10, and so I kept them in the front bedroom. I got all the mattresses and stacked them up, pancaked them all up as high as I could. This room was basically, I considered it the safest room, although the water was deep in here. When the water was here, it was just, it was just you know, no hope, no, it's just the rain never stopped. It was just like, you know, Noah, you know, it's gonna constantly rain. This bedroom, I just redone this bedroom and it's destroyed. It's, uh, it's got rain damage there, you can see inside. Every, every, every room is just, you know, every room. You know, so we're just gonna try to figure it out as best as we can on our own. And uh, it's just gonna take a lot of work. That's all I know, it's just gonna take a whole lot of work. You know? Um, this is the home of my 86-year-old parents, uh, James and Donna Stanfield. When they went through uh, Tropical Storm Allison flooding, that was about 16 years ago, so they were able to, as the water started rising up in the house, you know, to get stuff out of bottom drawers and all that sort of thing. They weren't able to do that this time. So all of our memories are sitting out here. Mom and Dad's wedding My father served a year in Vietnam, and he had written my mother letters, and she had saved those all these years. and. Um, I guess you always just thought your parents are going to be there, you know, and your stuff is going to be there with them. It's so much harder when it's your life and your parents' life that's out by the edge of the curb. So we've walked through my childhood memories. We've walked through my nephew's, you know, birth and childhood memories and graduation from college. And it's just real hard. We are cleaning all the children because the, uh, everything that uh, we need to be, you know, it need to be replaced because the, uh -huh. the water damage. And we're cutting uh, four feet of, uh, of the walls everywhere through the whole house. When I first came back, it was so overwhelming because things were just, you know, in disarray. The smell, the stench in here was horrible. Um, it was mildew smell with mold. We have to rebuild. We have to keep going. You know, we, a couple of days ago, we were out there with music full blast and we're all eating, you know, out in the front yard and it felt like we're just having a barbecue, you know, but we have to keep this attitude. We can't all go down. There's there's no time for that. We have to be on a positive note. That's how, that's how I feel.